Thank you to JLC PCB for sponsoring this video. They now offer flexible PCBs in addition to their custom boards. Their PCBs are made of excellent quality raw materials and are completely customizable. Did I mention you can get 5 custom PCBs for just 2 bucks? I was blown away when I found out it was that cheap. After just a few days, I received my order in the mail and I can tell you firsthand the boards are of great quality. I ended up using this simple relay board to arm and disarm the receiver for the pack remotely. This is for added safety. When I press the button, it arms the ESC. Check them out today, and while you're at it, make sure you have the channel notifications on. You don't want to miss another awesome video. Let's continue. Alright, here's our motor. This thing is 7 kilowatts. But it's going to need a mount. I'll use these two two cords like this. Next we'll have this aluminum rod, and we'll just cut this in half. I've drilled holes in them, and we're going to mount the motor like this. not fuck it up this bad the first time. Now that we've got this, we're gonna use four screws here, 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 and here to attach to the backpack. Mount it like that. Now that you can see, check that out. All right, mount it. Here's our connector for the propeller, and we're just gonna connect it to the battery, which we have right here. There's our battery right here, and we're just gonna solder this massive connector onto it. This battery doesn't need a BMS because it's got a passive BMS right here, so as long as you don't overcharge it or over discharge it, it'll balance the cells quite well. Now we've got the battery out of the way, let's work on the controller. Obviously we can't have me controlling a giant propeller on my back by my hands, so I'm going to be using this RC controller and this RC receiver right here. This will make it so I can control the motor safely. I'll connect it to the second row right here because that's the one with the throttle for RC cars. If you know anything about RC electronics, you know that the ESC needs to put power into the receiver for it to work, and this one is a 44 volt ESC, so it doesn't actually do that. So right here I have an external battery, and we're just going to connect it up to the receiver. As you can see, it's on. I place the battery into the backpack. It fits nicely. Now, this propeller will only last five or six minutes on this battery because of how much power it uses. I could put more batteries, however, these things are heavy and I don't really want to hurt my back. Everything will go inside the box to protect it from the propeller. Just plug it in and make sure it doesn't blow up. God, I hope it doesn't. Oh yeah. That's a good sign. Let's connect it up. Sounds good so far. Oh yeah. Whoa! Crap, this is gonna be awesome. Well, the backpack's done. Let's test this thing out. Time for an awesome montage. What happened? Wait, what the fuck? Oh, is this? It cut That's oh, what it is. Wait, what? Fuck, this thing got in it. Just cut it. Please tell me it's not broken. Oh. oh, my bearings are blunt. I only got one shot of this. <laughs> Damn it! Oh, I need to get a wrench. Just cut our string in half with the motor. Just hope this time it works and it doesn't kill me. 
Ian just did the propeller powered skateboard. I cannot believe it, guys. All right, check in next time for Ian Vlogs. <laughs> Signing out.